Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on and review my new Lavazza espresso maker and I am so glad I got this. I will show you how it works in action in just a moment, but uh, one thing I really want to note is how small it is. Uh, I was looking at a lot of espresso makers. My sister raved about this one. She used it at our hotel when we were in Europe. She did a lot of research and apparently, you know, this one just happens to brew better than some others. I don't know enough about it to, to really confirm that, but I do know it's good. Um, but what I really like about it is the size. You see how small it is? A lot of espresso makers, when I was doing my research for one, have a, a tank on the side or it's just really wide and I don't have a lot of space. So I wanted something small and this one fits fits easily on my buffet here um, so I can easily fit all of my other electronics that take up plenty of space so I really really love that. I got this along with some of the red pods to go with it so I'll show you those too um, but I'm, I'm obsessed and I'm so glad I ended up getting my sister one for Christmas and I had to have one too so let's take a look and see how it works. First you want to fill the water tank in the back. Now, especially on the first time when you rinse everything out, you're going to want to make sure that you pour the water exactly to the max fill line. I did not do this the first time and it wasn't starting and I thought something was wrong, but you just need to have it at that max line in order to kickstart it. And I chose what I'm going to refer to as the red pods, but it's the blue single espresso capsules that came with it. And I love the red specifically because it has more of a chocolatey flavor, but not too strong. Then all you do is open the top of the espresso machine and drop the pod in. The hole for the pod is actually shaped exactly like the pod, so it makes it easy to see which way it's supposed to go. And then I don't have an espresso mug, so you can remove the tray at the bottom if you need to use a larger cup, and that's what I'm going to be doing here. So once you've dropped your pod and you've set your cup where it's supposed to be, then you just want to choose either long or short, and it just takes a minute to start warming up. And then once, of course, it warms up, it'll start the brewing process. Now, I've sped this process up for the video, but it really does not take long at all. Between the time it heats up and the time it actually gives you your coffee, it takes all of about maybe a minute or two max. Then once you're finished, you just simply relift the top of the espresso maker and it actually drops the pod into this basket. So you can remove your pod and if you want to dump the water, feel free. And then I just put it right back into the espresso maker. And now I can enjoy my delicious cup of espresso.